Okay, so here we have question number six from the first practice test of the SAT. Um, again, based upon the length of this question, I can automatically assume that it's going to be a translate word problem, which again, in order to solve translate word problems, I want to read basically a sentence at a time and write down any quantitative information that I can find that will help me to understand and translate the meaning of the entire word problem. I also want to make note of the equation that's provided here because I'm definitely going to need to use that in order to solve the question. So let's get started. A pediatrician uses the model above to estimate the height h of a boy in inches in terms of the boy's age a in years between the ages of two and five. So that tells me that this formula, which I like to rewrite, although it's there, so you can choose if you want to follow my lead or not, but I like to rewrite it because it just helps me to reiterate exactly what I'm looking for here. So I know that H is height, and I know that A is age. And I know that that age is between just from two to five. Okay, so that may be important. So based on the model, what is the estimated increase in inches of a boy's height each year? Hmm. Well, the increase in inches of a boy's height each year, I know that this formula is given for height. So what if I actually just found his height every year between the ages of 2 and 5? So when A is equal to 2, then H is equal to, let's see, 6 because 3 times 2 would be 6. Um, 6 plus 28.6 28 point, 28 would be 34.6. And when the boy is 3, so one year later, his height would be equal to 9 plus 28.6, which is equal to 37.6. And when A is 4, and A is 5, I'll just set that up right now. So when A is 4, I'd get 12 plus 28.6, which gives me a height of 40.6. And at 5, I'd get 15 plus 28.6, which would give me a height of 43.6. So even without going that far, you may have already noticed that the trend here is that each year my height increases by 3, right? So from 34.6, I add 3, I get to 37.6. I add 3, I get to 40.6. I add 3, I get to 43.6. So since the question is asking for the estimated increase in inches of a boy's height each year, my answer must be 3 because that represents the increase, right? He's increasing in height by 3 inches every year.